tips to manage conflict with an arrogant person. If you saw my TED talk, you would have seen me talk about the three chairs and how in the middle chair you've got the confident person, the left chair you've got, or sorry, the right chair you've got the arrogant person, and the left chair you've got the insecure person. So a common question I get asked is if you see yourself kind of in that middle chair or in that left chair, how do you deal with the person in that right chair? How do you deal with somebody who is arrogant, especially in conflict? So here are six Six quick tips. Number one is understand, as I shared in the TED Talk, that people that are in that right chair that are arrogant, it is often a cover-up for insecurity. Do not be fooled by this. Do not believe their toxic lies. This is often a big cover-up for this, okay? So just really understand that piece. That's kind of my first tip. Number two, manage your expectations because when you're gonna be going into that conversation, they will try to blame, avoid, turn the topic about you, they will deflect, they will change the topic. Uh, their goal is to not take responsibility, okay? And it, these are all manipulation tactics. So just be aware that is what they're probably gonna try to do, all right? So it's very common, okay? So just be mindful for that. Uh, number three is be well prepared. When you are, again, dealing with a conflict, you want to be very well prepared. Know what your message is, boil it down, keep it super uh, clear, rehearse it, practice it, practice your, your eye contact, practice the tone of voice. You wanna be coming across very strong. Whatever you do, don't go into that comment, your, your eyes are looking down and your, your words are flustered and your body language, you need to sit in that middle chair and look the person in the eye and have strength and confidence to deal with it directly. So that is going to actually gain their respect. They may not like it, but they actually will have more respect for you. Um, number four, try to focus first on the same page. What can you actually agree on? You know, whatever that conflict is, is there something that you can agree on? Um, agreement, driving alignment, that is a good place to start. So that's a good thing for you to think about. Fifth one is ask what their needs are. Whatever the conflict is, what are their needs? What would they like in this conflict? Ask them. And then you can also assert yourself about what you would actually like as well. So that's the fifth step. And the sixth step is based on those needs, ask them based on these needs, what would you actually recommend as a solution? Try to get them to weigh in. Try to get them to actually share their opinion. If, if they, again, turn the, you know, change the topic, um, steer the conversation, really kind of lead that conversation, turn it back to with what that issue is. And if they don't come up with a solution, you then can actually share in terms of what the solution is with what you would actually recommend. And so the idea is that you want to kind of sit in that middle chair, hold your own eye contact, very clear voice. You're trying to be assertive um, and directive and respecting yourself while respecting them.